I think at first we'll solve a lot of brain related diseases. So uh, it could be anything from like autism, schizophrenia, memory loss, like everyone experiences mem memory loss at, at certain points in, in age. Parents can't remember their, their kids' names. What do you think about Neuralink's potential for Alzheimer's patients? This disease is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, and there's no way to prevent or cure it. Currently, about 5 million people have this disease, which is expected to increase significantly to 7 million by 2025. Neuralink technology can monitor the concentration of amyloid beta, a type of protein that accumulates in the brain and causes damage. It provides electrical stimulation to the brain to improve brain function. This can help enhance the patient's memory, cognitive abilities, and motor skills. So why is Neuralink superior for treating neurological diseases? Let's explore this in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. And before we start, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our future exciting videos. Now, let's dive into today's content. The number of neurological diseases is increasing in countries around the world. It tends to appear in people over 65 years old because at this time, the brain and nervous systems are quite seriously aging. Degeneration is the foundation for diseases like Parkinson's or Alzheimer's to appear. They have virtually no cure and will get worse over time. Fortunately, methods of intervention in the human brain are increasingly developing compared to the past, specifically the connection of the human brain with the computer system. Looking back, how has BCI evolved to become more effective? The history of brain-computer interface or BCI technology has undergone an incredible journey from the past to the present. It's often mistakenly believed that BCI has only been researched and developed since the 1970s because numerous studies have emerged. In reality, the precursor to this technology dates back to the 1920s, although it wasn't referred to as BCI at the time. Specifically, a German scientist, Hans Berger, demonstrated that the human brain generates electric currents. These electrical currents reflect brain activity and can be measured using the electroencephalogram, or EEG, which was invented in 1924. He once tested this apparatus on a 17-year-old boy, attaching electrodes to the scalp and recording the brain's electrical activity as wave rhythms on a computer screen. At this time, Hans's EEG was safe, but in fact it was ineffective and rudimentary. It utilized conductive silver wire to measure brain electricity, but only function on the brain's surface and couldn't reach deeper areas. BCIs gained popularity in the 90s, and highly invasive procedures were conducted using the Utah Array. This technology permits deeper access and is effective in detecting brainwave electrical activity, but comes with potential risks of infection, brain scarring, and general limitations. Today, BCI is being developed to a new level as it's implanted in smaller and safer devices using technologies like Neuralink or Synchron. In the past, older BCI systems were often only capable of analyzing certain types of brain signals, such as alpha and beta waves, with only 60% accuracy. The development of new technologies allows the analysis of a wider range of brain signals, including delta waves and gamma rays, with up to 90% accuracy. How closely associated is Elon Musk's Neuralink with BCI? We all know that BCI and Neuralink are technologies with the same purpose of connecting brain signals to a computer and decoding them. Founded in 2016, Neuralink not only inherits research and development from BCI, but also elevates it to a new level. Elon Musk's technology utilizes microscopic electrode fibers thinner than a human hair to read brain signals with high accuracy and without causing significant scarring or the risk of infection. The features of BCI are encapsulated in Neuralink technology. However, the limitations of BCI have been overcome and modified towards a more advanced technology with Neuralink. Neuralink and BCI both share ambitious goals of aiding human health that conventional pills or medical machines cannot address. Neuralink's BCI successor is expected to lead a future of widespread applications for patients with nervous system-related problems or sensory paralysis. In general, the relationship between these two distinct concepts is that of inheritance and development towards the same goal of aiding people. How successful have BCI applications been? With the ability to directly link computer technology with the human mind, BCI has brought forth numerous opportunities and boundless application potential. It improves the health and daily lives of people with disabilities through exploration of the mind and creativity in the realm of information technology. 
The evidence of BCI success is most evident in the positive impact it's had on disabled patients. BCI enables paralyzed patients to control robotic arms using the BCI method by connecting with the brain. To elucidate this technology, we'll refer to the case of Sherman. After an evening walk, Sherman felt as if her legs were being dragged behind her and the feeling intensified over time. She was diagnosed with cerebellar spinal cord degeneration and quadriplegia, rendering her unable to move her arms and legs. She volunteered for the DARPA Army BCI technology in the University of Pittsburgh. Following implantation surgery, she connected her brain to a robot hand to perform three-dimensional grasping actions. As a result, after the adaptation process, she could miraculously control the robot to eat a piece of chocolate after not being able to move her hands for 10 years. Additionally, BCI holds potential for cases of spinal injuries as it activates spinal functions through brain control. Another example is the case of Gerriton Oscom. He was paralyzed from the waist down in a serious accident 12 years ago. However, he experienced a miracle when he was able to walk again after undergoing BCI surgery. Oscom's implantation method was similar to Sherman's. Two Utah arrays were implanted on either side of his brain and connected to a device on his walker, which was linked to a second electrode implanted in Oscom's spine. Connections were displayed via computer screens located at two implant locations. It's evident that he was very excited thanks to the wonders of BCI. For individuals who are paralyzed after a stroke and unable to move their limbs, it often feels like they'll never have an opportunity to communicate with others. Despair and helplessness can lead these patients to lose the will to go on. However, BCI has offered them a chance to communicate, despite living in a seemingly vegetative state. Scientists at Stanford University have developed a BCI system that enables paralyzed individuals to write using their thoughts, including a mechanism to record brain activity and a slide cursor on the keyboard to type characters. Our participants were able to type at rates anywhere from 12 to up to almost 40 characters per minute, uh, which translates to, in the best cases, about six to eight words. The patient has a silicon electrical sensor containing a hundred tiny electrodes implanted into the surface of the brain to receive the electrical activity of each nerve cell, which is then recorded and decoded by a computer. The patient simply needs to imagine their right arm moving to the letters on the keyboard, and the cursor will select that letter. According to researchers, 12 to 40 characters can be typed in one minute, producing six to eight words, which is likely something patients have longed for. How does Neuralink outperform traditional BCI? As you can see, this monkey's playing the game on the screen quite proficiently. It plays as well as a human. There would be nothing noteworthy about this if it were playing the game in the usual manner with hand movements, but it's using its brain to play this game. This is the result of Neuralink's technology. Although it's been researched for a relatively short time compared to BCI, which took decades of research, Neuralink has developed so rapidly that it was successfully tested in just two years on a monkey. Neuralink inherits and overcomes the shortcomings of conventional BCI technologies, providing patients with a much greater sense of safety and peace of mind when using it. A short period of testing on monkeys without any errors or problems have proven that Neuralink is an advanced technology compared to conventional BCI using the less secure Utah Array. Uh, going to unveil today is capable of, of a thousand times more uh, electrodes than the, uh, the, the best system out there. And they're all read and write. So this is, this is really quite, I think, I mean, for something to be a thousand times more than what is publicly approved is quite a big difference. Um, and and this, will, this will get better with uh, subsequent. The Utah Array implantation method is the most prevalent. It was developed at the University of Utah in the 1970s and has been utilized with BCI studies for decades. The Utah Array has dimensions of 37 millimeters by 9 millimeters width by height. While it can reach deep into the brain's surface for optimal electrical reception, it poses an extremely high risk of brain infection, scarring, and nerve damage. In contrast, Neuralink employs state-of-the-art silicon microchip technology that includes microscopic electrode fibers 20 times thinner than a human hair, with dimensions of 23 millimeters by 8 millimeters. The smaller size results in less pain for the patient and easier implantation with fewer risks. Neuralink's fibers can be implanted in various locations without the limitations of the Utah Array, which is confined to specific sites. It's localized to selected areas rather than being distributed across two brain surfaces. This enables neurons to interact with many nerve systems in the brain. 
The Utah Array has a significant drawback. It's prone to causing brain infections and can be rejected by the human body at any time. It can only remain inside the brain for less than 30 days, necessitating multiple replacements for the installation of a new Utah Array. This sounds quite daunting, akin to its sharp spikes and risks that can manifest any moment. The advantage of Neuralink's compactness is that it allows the chip to be implanted and remain in the brain for decades without it causing excessive invasiveness or harm. Other BCI methods require highly specialized surgeons, presenting challenges in terms of resources and expertise. In contrast, Neuralink employs an R1 robot arm, functioning as a high-precision sewing machine, operating at faster speeds than human and supervised by highly specialized medical professionals. The robot creates a small opening in the scalp and seamlessly and quickly implants small fibers into predetermined positions. You often observe patients using BCI methods wearing cumbersome headgear or hats, which can be inconvenient and restrictive. However, Neuralink ensures that patients aren't encumbered by headgears or hats, as it's implanted beneath the scalp via a small chip. Neuralink promises the latest chip technology, which is much more efficient and safe, enabling it to remain in the brain for decades without causing concern. How will Neuralink be applied in the latest medical cases? You know, giving somebody back full motor control after they've had a spinal cord injury, you know, restoring brain functionality after a stroke, um, solving debilitating genetically oriented brain diseases, these are all incredibly great. Neuralink, with its remarkable potential to connect directly with the human mind, represents a major leap forward in the fields of medicine and science. This technology has unlocked numerous vital applications, particularly in the monitoring and treatment of nervous system-related diseases. One of Neuralink's greatest potential lies in its ability to monitor and treat nervous system diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. By recording and modulating brain activity, Neuralink can offer valuable insights into changes in a patient's health status. This aids medical professionals in early detection and intervention, optimizing treatment and enhancing the patient's quality of life. Furthermore, this technology also has the capacity to support the treatment of mental disorders such as schizophrenia and depression. By balancing brain activity and providing corrective therapy, Neuralink can assist individuals affected by these disorders in achieving mental recovery more effectively. The ability to directly interface with the mind has also kindled hope for individuals with disabilities. Neuralink can help them regain or enhance their mobility and communication, enabling them to control devices and machines using their thoughts. This translates into regaining independence and freedom in everyday life. Neuralink's direct-to-computer system also holds promise for restoring or enhancing spinal function in individuals with spinal cord injuries. This technology can generate commands and control recommendations to adjust assistive devices and restore physical functionality. Additionally, Neuralink can aid in improving vision for individuals with visual impairments or conditions. By replacing or supplementing the eyes function, this technology presents new possibilities for those facing visual challenges. Beyond its direct applications in the medical field, Neuralink can also be employed to monitor and prevent nervous system-related diseases. By continuously providing information on brain activity, it can aid in the early detection of problems and diseases, helping to prevent their progression before they become severe. Finally, Neuralink also has the potential to enhance human memory, learning ability, and creativity. By connecting to computers, it can deliver information and knowledge rapidly and effectively, facilitating cognitive improvement and creativity enhancement. In summary, Neuralink represents a breakthrough in the fields of medicine and science, offering numerous important prospects and potential applications to enhance the quality of life and human health. The formation and development of BCI up to the present day have been a journey marked by the dedication of researchers and a network of specialized medical professionals. It has achieved remarkable success for the patients it served, giving them the motivation to continue living during challenging times. BCI and Elon Musk's Neuralink share a close relationship with the shared objective of advancing the future of humanity. Neuralink has overcome the limitations and drawbacks of BCI to provide greater safety and efficacy in addressing various nervous system-related diseases. It holds the promise of being a miracle for patients with Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, enabling them to maintain and improve their memory day by day. Neuralink stands poised to lead the way in the remarkable field of human-computer brain interfacing technology. 
Additionally, its role in monitoring and preventing nervous system-related diseases, coupled with the promise of enhancing memory, learning, and creativity, positions Neuralink as a pioneering force for human well-being. As we journey forward, Neuralink's capacity to revolutionize healthcare, augment human capabilities, and drive scientific advancements makes it a beacon of hope and innovation in the pursuit of improving the quality of life and human health. With its relentless dedication to pushing the boundaries of what's possible, Neuralink is not only at the forefront, but is leading the way into the future where the connection between the human mind and technology knows no bounds. So how do you feel about Neuralink and which advantages of this technology excite you compared to BCI? We'd love to hear your thoughts. We hope you experienced the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you did, Please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and joining the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. Don't miss out on any of our other captivating videos by clicking the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll be back soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy life.